Hello friends, welcome back to MS Technologies. As part of today's video, I am going to discuss what is microservices and why we need to go for microservices architecture. First, let me talk about what is microservices. So now, we have this microservices architecture for developing the applications. Before microservices, what we have to develop applications. People generally use a monolithic architecture for developing the applications. Before microservices, we have monolithic architecture for developing the applications. So let me talk about what is monolithic architecture first. If you want to develop a application, Assume web application. In our application, we will have several modules and several components also will be available. Several modules and several components also will be available. If you develop a single project with all those modules, then that project is called as monolithic architecture based project. If you develop a single project with the, all the modules, then that project is called as monolithic architecture based project. So now here, if you observe it here, here we have multiple modules are available. Module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4, module 5, module 6 like this. With all these modules, with all these modules, I am going to develop one single project then this project is called as monolithic architecture project. With all those modules, if you develop a single project, then that project is called monolithic architecture based project. Here, modules in the sense, if you take any bank application, bank application, we have several modules are available in bank application, like loans module, credit cards related module, insurance related module, mutual funds related module, like that we have several modules are available in banking application. At the same time, if you go for technical side, we have several components are available in web application. What components are available? Presentation component, persistence component, business component, integration component, like that several components are available in web application. With all these modules, with all those components, if you develop a single project, then that project is called as monolithic architecture based project. Clear what is monolithic architecture based application? If you develop an application with all those modules, with the multiple modules, then that application is called as monolithic architecture based application. All right. See. If we develop a single project with all those modules, then that project is called as monolithic architecture based project. Here modules in the sense what? Either business features or technical features. Business features in the sense what? Just now we discussed. In banking application, we have several business features like loans related feature, insurance related feature, mutual funds related features, cars related features, etc. Technical features in the sense, in web application development, we have persistence layers, presentation layer, integration layer. So like that, several technical related features also available. Right? If you develop a single project with all these features, if, with all these features, then that project is called as monolithic architecture based project. I hope you guys are clear what is monolithic architecture based project. Here, we have several advantages and disadvantages also is there in monolithic architecture based applications. First, let me talk about what advantages are there in monolithic based architecture application. First advantage, at the beginning stage, at the beginning stage of the application, development is very easy. In monolithic based architecture, 
application development is very easy at a beginning stage so next in single application only we have all the modules in it. we are developing a single application with all those modules then we can perform complete end to end testing it if you have all the modules in single project then we can perform complete end to end testing next feature here for entire project for entire project we are maintaining single verified for entire project we are maintaining single verified easily we can deploy that verified easily we can deploy single verified and the next feature is scaling it easily we can scale our application easily we can scale our application and scaling in the sense what and creating multiple servers we can deploy our application into multiple servers and we can deploy our application into multiple servers right because of that what is the advantage what is the advantage for this scaling we can reduce the we can reduce the burden on single server and we can reduce the burden on the server instead of sending all requests to single server what i am going to do i am creating multiple servers some request will go for one server some request will go for second server some request will go for third server like that we are reducing the burden on the server side by using this scaling concept easily we can scale our application these are the several features different features in monolithic architecture based application what features are there first feature we can develop for more especially for monolithic applications at the beginning stage development is very easy and at the beginning stage development is very easy for monolithic based applications next here in single application only we have all the modules if you have all the modules in single application then we can perform complete end to end testing third feature is deployment process is very easy and why why deployment process is very easy here for entire application we are maintaining single var file and if you deploy that a single var file that is enough and if you deploy that single var file that is enough so that is the reason deployment process is very easy and and the next feature is easily we can scale our application what is the advantage of this scaling we can reduce the burden on the server instead of maintaining single server we are creating multiple servers and we are deploying our application into all the server side then we can reduce the burden on the server these are the different advantages are there in monolithic based application see here what i am doing see so all the modules with all these modules i am developing an application with all these modules i am developing an application and i am deploying this application i am deploying this var file into a server i am deploying this var file into a server once deployment is completed then we can access we can access our application from different places like this and that anyone can able to access once deployment is completed anyone can able to access our application from any location anyone can able to access our application from any location see with all these modules i am developing one single application and i am creating one var file for that and i am deploying that var file inside the server once you deploy that var inside the server and anyone can able to access our application from any location here what you guys are observe right here with the multiple modules we are developing the application with the multiple modules we are developing single application and a single var file we are deploying into the server clear at the same time here we have some disadvantages also in monolithic architecture based application what disadvantages are there see if you go for disadvantages first maintenance is very difficult maintaining large applications are very difficult why i am saying 
monolithic application is a large application in single application only we are maintaining all the modules we are maintaining all the modules in single application only then automatically the application will become too large and if you have all the modules in single application then the application the, the application is too large and if the application is too large then it is very difficult to maintain also if the application is too large then it is very difficult to maintain it and the next drawback is it is very difficult to use new technologies in our application it is very difficult to use new technologies in our application suppose if you are developing application by using java we can't able to use it is that much, it is not that much easy to use another technology another technology in our application it is very difficult and uh, one more drawback is quick releases are not possible and why and we need to wait until completing the entire application to complete that entire application it will take time so quick releases are not possible at here we need to wait until completing the entire application completing entire application in the sense it will take lot of time so we need to wait until that time so quick releases are not possible quick releases are not possible in monolithic architecture based applications next drawback is if you do any changes in one module if you do any changes in one module in our application then we should redeploy entire application here what we are doing we are doing a change in one module and inside our application we have several modules inside our application we have several modules but i am doing some changes in single module only but still we need to deploy entire we need to redeploy entire application in the server that is the drawback or not yes if there is any issue in one module if there is any issue in one module right it will affect on the entire application and it will affect on entire application we can't able to access other modules also if there is any issue in one module then it will affect on all other modules also we can't able to use other modules also so these are the several disadvantages which we have in monolithic architecture based applications what disadvantages are there maintaining the application is very difficult why the applications is the applications are too large and if the applications are too large then it is very difficult to maintain and the second drawback is it is very difficult to use new technologies in our application third problem is quick releases are not possible fourth problem is if you do any changes in one module if you do any changes in one module in our application then we should redeploy entire application fifth problem is if there is any issue in one module then it will affect on all other modules also so these are the different right several disadvantages with this monolithic architecture based applications right so now how we can able to overcome all these problems and if you develop a application if you develop the application by using monolithic architecture so these are the disadvantages which we have these are the problems which we have how you can able to overcome all these problems how you can overcome all these problems right to overcome all these problems micro services are came into the picture to overcome all these problems micro services are came into the picture so now tell me what is microservices what is microservices here most of the people will feel like are microservices are new technology microservices is a new technology no microservices is not a technology yet. then what is this then what is this it is an architectural design pattern microservices is not a technology it is an architectural design pattern by using microservices what we can do why we need to go for this microservices why we need to go for this microservices by using this microservices what we can do by using this microservices we can overcome the problems 
which are available in monolithic architecture in monolithic architecture whatever the problems we have seen all those problems we can overcome with this microservices what problems we have seen in monolithic architecture maintenance problem and uh, we can't able to use new technologies and quick releases are not possible and if you do any changes in one module entire application we need to redeploy and if you if there is any issue in one module it, it will affect on all other modules also all are all are different uh, problems with this monolithic architecture so by using microservices we can overcome all those issues we can overcome all those problems right see if you go for if you go for monolithic application see with all these modules we are developing a single project right with all these modules we are developing a single project right if you do like this we have several problems and right? what problems application length automatically application length will become increasing right? application length will become increase and the next right if you do any changes in one module right entire application we need to redeploy and if there is any problem in one module it will affect on all other modules also right but if you go for microservices what we are doing it here for module 1 i am developing one service for module 2 i am developing another service for module 3 i am developing another service for module 4 i am developing another service like this and all are independent services and all are different independent services we are developing at here here all are different applications and this is one application this is one application this is one application this is one application we are developing right if you do like this see my first application is communicating with second application second application is communicating with third application third application is communicating with fourth application that is different story and but coming to application development for each module separate applications we are maintaining it here separate applications we are maintaining it here and right so just now i told microservices is not a technology to learn and microservices is not a technology it is just a design pattern and architectural design pattern and inside microservices what we have and services are there and in microservices architecture based application what we have several services are there and right how you will develop those services by using our restful apis restful architecture rest apis we can develop those services and if you are strong in rest development if you are strong in restful services development microservices are very easy and before understanding this microservices you guys should have very good knowledge on restful services you guys should have very strong knowledge on restful services and we are developing all the services by using restful services only rest apis we will develop and the rest clients also we will develop and then by using microservices what we are doing just we are doing configuration and microservices we are using for configuration purpose and right so the services which we have inside this microservices architecture application those services are developed by using restful services spring boot spring boot and restful services only we are using and if you guys are strong in spring boot and restful services microservices are nothing and that much easy and microservices here what we are developing we are developing several services service 1 service 2 service 3 service 4 and right so for communicating service 1 is communicating service 2 service 2 is communicating service 3 service 3 is communicating to service 4 and for this purpose we need to do some configuration we need to do some configuration for this purpose and but here each module we are developing as a separate application each module we are developing as a separate service and right so here what advantages are there and if you go like this if you go like this what advantages are there what advantages are there and see easily we can maintain the applications and right easy maintenance and applications we can maintain very easily very easily we can maintain the applications at here and right see now here
See, for each module, separate application I'm developing, right? So means what, Andy? In each service, we are taking less functionality. If the functionality is less, then we can maintain very easily. Andy. But if you go for monolithic architecture-based application, we need to understand entire application. We need to understand all the modules. We need to understand entire application. But coming to here, small functionality. Andy. Inside the service, we are taking one small, small functionalities. So easily we can understand and easily we can maintain it. As we are divide, dividing our project, a project functionality into multiple microservices, it is very easy to maintain it. Here, what we are doing, we are dividing our project functionality into multiple microservices. It is very easy to maintain it. Right. So what is the next feature we have? Parallel development and parallel development. If you go for monolithic architecture based applications, parallel development is not possible. And parallel development is not possible until completing first module. We need to wait to start the second module. And until completing first module, we can't able to start second module. Until completing second module, we can't able to start third module like the dependency is there. And parallel development is not possible. And but coming to microservices based applications, Right. At a time, we can start all the services and we no need to wait to start a second service until completing the first service. We no need to wait to start third service until completing the second service. And right. At a time, we can start all the services. Parallelly, we can start the development for all these services. And but in monolithic architecture based applications, right, we can't able to start the parallel development. Right. So we can't able to start module two until completing module one. We can't able to start module three until completing module two. Andy. But here, Andy, there is no such kind of problem. Parallelly, we can develop all the services. Andy. Later, we can able to do the integrations and all those things. Andy. Parallelly, we can develop all the services. What is the next feature we have? New technologies. Andy. You can use, we can use a new technology. Andy. See here, first service. Right, we can develop by using Java. Second service, we can develop by using Python. Third service, we can develop by using .NET. Fourth service, we can develop by using Android. And so like that, right, we can use new technologies very easily. There is no rule like uh, all the services should be developed by using same technology. There is no rule like all the services should be developed by using same technology. Here all are independent services. All are independent services. So one service can communicate with the other service. Here, we no need to bother about the technology and platform. And we no need to bother about the technology and platform at here. Right? What is the next feature we have? Scaling the applications. And, right, scaling. Scaling for our application very easily. We can scale our application. Scaling in the sense what? We can create multiple servers. We can deploy our servers, our services into, we can deploy our services into multiple servers. Right? So next feature is quick releases. Here, if you go for monolithic architecture based application, right, we need to wait until completing the entire project. We need to wait until completing entire application. Once the entire application is completed, then only we can able to release. But coming to microservices, we no need to wait like that. Andy. We no need to wait like that. Right? After completing service one, we can release this. After completing service two, we can release this service. After completing service three, we can release this service. And quick releases we can able to give. Andy. In microservices based architecture applications, quick releases also we can give. But in monolithic architecture based applications, quick releases are not possible. Quick releases are not possible. Clear? These are the features which we have in microservices architecture based applications. Whatever the drawbacks which we have in monolithic applications, all those problems we can overcome with microservices. We can overcome with microservices. And now tell me what is a monolithic architecture application? When we can say an application is a monolithic architecture based application, if you develop a single project with uh, multiple modules, 
with the same with the all the modules then that the project is called as monolithic architecture based project right in that monolithic architecture based project we have some advantages and we have some disadvantages what advantages are there what advantages are there and at the beginning stage at the beginning stage application development is very easy at the beginning stage application development is very easy and the second advantage what is the second advantage and what is the second advantage in monolithic application what is the second advantage in monolithic application monolithic based applications already we have discussed that already we discussed that here and testing and right here in single application only we are maintaining all the modules and in single application we are maintaining all the modules so we can perform complete end to end testing next advantage is deployment process is very easy and why we are maintaining single var file only for entire application easily we can deploy that var file and deployment process is very easy fourth advantage is scaling and scaling also very easy for monolithic architecture based application Right. First, first, repeat once again. What advantages are there? Right. Here we discuss the around four advantages. And one is uh, at the beginning stage, at the initial stage of the application development. Right. Easily. Right. Very easy. And development is very easy at the beginning stage. Development is very easy at the beginning stage. Second limitation is right. End to end testing we can perform. End to end testing we can perform. Third one is deployment process is very easy. fourth one is easily we can scale our application at the same time we have some disadvantages also and what disadvantages are there maintenance problem and maintenance problem if the application is too large then it is very difficult to maintain and then it is very difficult to maintain and second problem is we can't able to use new technologies in our applications third problem is third problem is and what is the third problem quick releases are not possible and quick releases are not possible why and right we need to wait we need to wait until completing entire application then only we can able to release it so what is another problem right if you do any changes in one module we need to redeploy entire application we need to redeploy entire application right if you if there is any issue in one module it will affect on all other modules also so these are the different problems with the monolithic architecture based applications how you can able to overcome those problems by using microservices we can able to overcome those problems what is microservices microservices is not a technology microservices is not a technology it is a architectural design pattern it is architectural design pattern by using this microservices we can overcome the problems of monolithic architecture based application what advantages are there in microservices maintenance easy maintenance parallel development we can use new technologies scaling application quick releases and these are the several advantages which we have with the microservices based applications clear i hope you guys are understood what is microservices and uh, what is monolithic applications right when we will go for microservices architecture thanks guys thanks for watching please subscribe this channel for more updates thank you